Hey guys, so I'm sure that a lot of you have heard about the new Xbox One user experience being released next month in November. Very exciting. I wanted to show those of you interested a quick little glimpse or walkthrough of what the new experience will look like when it's released in November. I only have access to this because I am a member of the Xbox Preview Program where I'm able to test out new Xbox One software ideas and services before they're available to the public give my feedback to Microsoft, and yeah, hopefully they're able to use that feedback to improve the software, fix some glitches or bugs, and just kind of just make it more user-friendly. This is the home screen. Um, I'm sure you have already scoped everything out while I was talking, but yeah, you're going to have your most recently played or recently viewed apps here, and on the right, you just kind of have your normal little advertisements for new games or new apps coming out. And yeah, this is a little game hub. It shows that I have two friends playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. I can view and share my captures. Down here I just have well, just one pinned app. Now, if I go back up, the most exciting part about this entire user experience for me is if you look at the left-hand side under the heart, you're gonna see a whole bunch of icons and this is where you're gonna be able to access your friends list, your notifications, your messages, start a party, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and click left. And I have all of the accounts that are currently stored on my Xbox. I go down, I have my friends list and who's on right now. Um, I can easily start a party. My messages with a whole bunch of hate mail in there. Don't look at that. <laughs> okay, I have my notifications. And I can go to my settings and here I can just snap an app. Very cool, very user friendly. Okay, so the next tab you have here is your community. And this is where you're able to access your friends activity feed. Um, you can like, comment, or share anything, or you can, like it says right here, share something to Xbox Live. The next tab is One Guide, and this is where you have all of your TV, movie, and video apps. This includes your TV listings if you have your cable box connected like I do. So if I wanted to watch some, I don't know, Monday Night Raw while I was playing some Advanced Warfare, then I would just snap that app easily and be on my merry way. Here I have my... Um, live TV, movies, TV shows, app channels, and my movies and TV. Now the next tab is the store and this is where you're gonna have your games, apps, movies and TV, and your music. So pretty easy to use. I'm sure you all have used the store before and spent tons of money with Xbox. Yeah. Anyway, so I definitely think that the new user experience is faster and way more user-friendly. I appreciate the fact that I can just click left and access my messages without having to go through all that mess you used to have to go through before. Now the only issue that I've run into that has kind of frustrated me a lot is not being able to be in a party while playing. Maybe 8 out of 10 times I'll get near a message that says not able to locate a microphone for the people in the party and it sucks because they can hear each other. They can hear me but I can't hear them. So the fix is a hard reset but Hard resetting gets tiresome after a while, but other than that, the user experience is amazing. And I really look forward to them working out the kinks and the actual release in November. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful, and I go hope that you guys are pumped for Black Ops 3, because I am, and then shortly after, the new Xbox One experience. So, yeah, guys, if any of you need an invite to the preview program, Comment down below with your gamer tag. I have no problem sending you guys invites. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And as always, subscribe to my channel.